Hi, my name is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. I get asked by lots of people what is Smartsheet and why I'm such an advocate for it. So I thought I would do a quick overview. Firstly, it's way, way more than the name suggests. Although it does amaze me how many people use Smartsheet literally as that, an online spreadsheet. But they're missing out on so much more that Smartsheet can do for them. Ultimately, it's a hugely powerful collaboration and dynamic work management tool providing much needed visual performance dashboards. It is so flexible and customizable, so it can be used in pretty much any industry or sector to help teams, businesses, and organizations achieve more. And the added bonus for non-technical people like me? It requires no coding, it's intuitive, and has no end of training materials and help out there to guide people. So I've spent most of my career managing projects and programs, and it's the tool I wish I'd had back then. But it's so much more than a project management tool. It's where the work gets done. So I always like to start with the end in mind, and that's the outputs. Smartsheet is fantastic for providing powerful dashboards that enable you to bring together your key metrics and information in one place to enable visual performance management. And not only does it bring through information from within your Smartsheets, you can also embed items from outside of Smartsheets, such as charts from Excel, Tableau, or Power BI, video content from YouTube, or from other published web material. And you can design the dashboards however you want them to look, adding in images, text, metrics, reports, shortcuts, and links. You can then drill down to these items to look at the source data and the dashboard then can be set up to show personalized views by automatically filtering information on a report specific to the person viewing it, which takes me to reports. And I absolutely love these. A smart sheet report is a way of consolidating data from multiple sheets and then filtering it to show just the information you want. This way, you could have a report linked to hundreds of sheets that have the same columns, and then just show the rows with data filtered by the current user. This way, someone can just see all the line items that have been assigned to them. The report also only needs to include the columns that are relevant to that report, which enables you to simplify and streamline views for users, making it even more user-friendly. The report can be set up to group information by project or department, for example, and then summarize or calculate data. And then my favorite part, if you update the information in a report, it automatically updates the source data, meaning that if a user is reviewing their personal task list or actions list, or an approvals list for multiple projects or sheets, they don't have to go to all the individual sheets, they just come here, update them, and then move on. Now, how easy is that? So now we come to the core of Smartsheet, the sheets themselves. So at first glance, it's like most spreadsheets that you would use to capture large amounts of information in a consistent way, making it immediately familiar to users. And it has powerful formulas allowing you to do all sorts of calculations. From here, its superpowers kick in. Columns are easily set up with drop-down lists. They're given symbols or checkboxes, flags, they automatically record information or defined as contacts or dates that enable the superpowers, the automations. So you can set up an endless array of automations that are triggered either by date or when information changes. And these automations can alert people. They can request updates or approvals. They can record information or clear information. They can lock or unlock information so that it can be edited or not edited and they can move or copy rows of data to other sheets. And you can set up all kinds of logic and conditions for these automations and also set them to run on a defined schedule. For example, to request a status update every week on a Friday. You can even set up automations to automatically create PDF documents based on when a data in a row changes. And for each row, you can also add comments and tag people in them so that the conversation happens around a specific work item. You can also add attachments to that row, and you can even get people to proof and approve documents, images or video footage. 
Now, given spreadsheets are about consolidating information in a consistent way, it's even better if you can provide people with a quick and easy way of inputting the right data every time. Enter forms. You can create elegant and engaging forms to collect information easily and consistently. And once you have a sheet, creating a form is just a matter of a few clicks. You can then refine it and dial it up to another level as needed. All you need to do then is to share the form link or embed the form into a dashboard or into a web page, like our contact form on our website, for example. So these sheets sound pretty smart so far, but for me, what makes them really smart is how easy they are to connect with other sheets, enabling you to have intelligent data. Now you can directly link cells to always pull in information from a certain cell in another sheet, or you can create formulas that pull in information from other sheets based on what you're looking for. For example, you can count how many items in another sheet are flagged with a red status or are overdue. Or you can bring back information that meets specific criteria, such as the address for a customer number. One other thing I can't fail to mention while I'm here is column formulas. Now, I don't want to get technical, but for anyone who is used to using formulas in regular spreadsheets will know it's a nightmare when new rows are added and when these fall outside of the formula range. Or worse, someone accidentally overwrites your formula. Column formulas automatically apply that formula to any row in that sheet. And that includes any new rows that are added. So even better, they can't be edited unless you have admin access, so no risk of overwriting. And importantly, with Smartsheets, because all this information is online, you can view sheet history for up to 90 days to see who's made what changes or who's viewed a dashboard or a sheet so you've got full record of what's been going on. Okay, Rich, you say? So all this is pretty fancy and will clearly cost me a lot, but absolutely not. Smartsheet works on the basis of free collaborators. So only the people who are creating assets in Smartsheet, who are editing their properties, such as creating automations or changing columns, need a license. So you can give people access to your sheet so they can go in and edit it and update it. And that's right, they don't need to have a license. And sharing a sheet or other assets with people is just a matter of clicks, subject to any security overrides your organization might have in place. So here's a quick overview of Smartsheet pricing as at the time of recording, which includes everything I've outlined above. Based on what I've shown you, I'd be pretty amazed if you don't feel you can get enough value to pay for the licenses many times over. And if at any point you want any help with your smart sheet, please get in touch with us. At Productive, our mission is to help organizations maximize productive activity. We're proud to be smart sheet aligned partners as we specifically selected this technology based on how remarkably flexible, intuitive and scalable it is. So please get in touch to find out more about how we can help you Get with the times and deliver better outcomes for your business and for your projects. Many thanks for watching and bye for now.